Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Game. And in this week's edition we have some beautiful British flats, luscious long grass, a market stall and a creation from someone that we wouldn't really expect. Let's do this. And to kick things off this week we have Renewcom and a return of another beautiful lighthouse, this time attached with a museum. Now his last lighthouse featured in the weekly asset roundup which was Scary Vore's lighthouse and that was the first time we saw the beautiful light conclusion as well and the same is done so with this one. Detail levels are exactly the same as previous, beautifully done great stone features and what I like about the attached buildings is it does give a different sort of feel to where you plop this. It could be a building where in fact the owner lives or I like the idea of it also being a museum. The nighttime views again very mellow but very attractive. Great lighthouse. Up next it's Pedelmo and he has released a number of beautiful grass packs this week so make sure you check them all out. This is the long grass pack and this is one that's absolutely stunning. Combined together you can create a great atmosphere of a field or just an overgrown garden. With as usual with Pedelmo's work, low try counts mean you can add as much as this as you possibly want to. Obviously don't go crazy but you can certainly get a realistic look. Up next we have the return of that Evan and this week it's with the cable medium barrier. And with this pack you get both the main middle section and the end piece which you can use beautifully to separate your highways and create a bit of a safety barrier between the two. And what I particularly like about this is the detail of just the individual posts, you've got that weathered look which looks very realistic. Up next we have the return of Daft and this absolutely stunning, stunning building. With the hundreds of hours put into this model I think we can all be absolutely blessed with this release on the workshop. The level of detail and the modelling is outstanding. Now with something so detailed you can't really expect to have a low try count but who cares this is a beautiful building to be placed in the very busy middle of a city. The building itself is Rico enabled which is perfect for any placing and the nighttime view is not only beautiful, it's sensational. It's been a little while since the workshop was blessed with some new market stalls and fruit stands but De Casa has done that for us yet again including two old market stands, one with roof and one without, and a number of different boxes of fruit. You're ready to build your own market square. Airports are often built on City Skylines projects, and to add to the detail, Vasimir 22 has included some airport ground support equipment packs. Now these packs include both the hoses and pipes you see here as well as the air ground support vehicles. Now I personally don't know enough about these ground um, props but I can certainly see them working wonders in your airports and also the hoses and pipes can possibly be used elsewhere as well. Up next we have some beautiful trees by... that's Lost Gecko. Yes it's Lost Gecko. And whilst we are used to him building some beautiful buildings and churches, he's turned his attention to creating these beautiful forest beech trees in a number of different styles. This pack is beautiful and it really makes you wonder what is next for Lost Gecko. Up next we have Beard Monkey with his concrete tile packs. Two types, one broken, one clean and fresh. And with the inclusion of last week's beautiful paved paths, these will work wonders in a garden 
or simply beautifying your city centre. And to finish things off, my favourite of the week is Rick 4000's return with these beautiful UK flats. Two blocks were released this week and both are very, very lifelike, certainly ones I'm used to seeing in my local area. Both are Rico ready in a very large size in terms of 12 by 7 cells. But what I love best about this is it's been left to your imagination. There's no default trees, nothing there in the way. It's all there ready for you to detail yourself. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.